Lee Montgomery. Even though much of the civil rights movement took place in Montgomery, USA Today did not even list Montgomery in its top 10 list of cities where black history comes alive. Montgomery also only had one attraction that made the state's list of the top 10 paid tour spots in Alabama. Reporter Ashley Thompson joins us live tonight to show us whether Montgomery is having trouble attracting tourists. It's tonight's big story. Glenn, we're here at Dexter Avenue King Memorial Baptist Church, which is just one of many places that honor civil rights in Montgomery. Now, this church sees plenty of tourism, so how are other civil rights places faring here? USA Today released a list of the 10 best places where black history comes alive. Birmingham's on the list, but Montgomery is not. Don Hathcock with the Convention and Visitors Bureau says she was surprised and disappointed when she saw the list. We immediately called and started tracking down the writer to invite him to Montgomery to let him know that we have a lot of history here. The Alabama Department of Tourism just released a list of its own, listing the top 10 free and paid attractions for 2013. The Birmingham Civil Rights Institute is one of the most visited paid attractions, while Montgomery's Civil Rights Memorial is a top free attraction. So is Montgomery missing out on tourist dollars? Brian Jones with the Department of Tourism says he doesn't think so. Montgomery's fortunate and they have such a concentration, especially downtown. When you start thinking of the attractions, you think about the Rosa Parks Museum, the Civil Rights Museum. The Civil Rights Memorial pulls in hundreds of tourists every day. We caught two from Michigan on their first visit to Montgomery. It's very moving, very powerful. You can't help but cry. I think it's amazing and it's very moving. And although the Civil Rights Memorial isn't making much off of its visitors, Operations Coordinator Corey Ward says it's not about the money. It's not important here at the center as, as far as you can't put a price, I would say, on, on this type of education that they get here at this center. So what can Montgomery do to attract more tourists and tourism money? It's hard to say because, you know, we've, we've got so much history here and that is the crux of who we are. So it, it really is important. Now, Montgomery is making money off of the Montgomery Zoo, which came in at number seven on the list of top paid attractions in Alabama, but that is the only local attraction. Glenn? Our zoo is number seven, but by contrast, Birmingham Zoo was number two. All right. Thank you, Ashley Thompson, live tonight from downtown Montgomery. We are told the writer of the USA Today article that did not mention Montgomery as a civil rights hotspot is actually from Birmingham.